Pictures of Angela from 90 Day Fiance's ex have been leaked on social media, and guys, it is pretty shocking, guys. We have never known what Angela's exes have ever looked like. She's been very vague. The only thing she's ever said on 90 Day Fiance is that she was married once before, and as far as my knowledge can confirm, and people have also confirmed me too, she said she was married to her daughter's dad. Well, Angela's daughter, Skyla, just released a ton of pictures of one of Angela's exes, and it appears that they were married. So here is the deal, which is never before seen stuff and we must give credit where credit is due so we have to give credit to true crime underscore jank i'm going to share the instagram account so go give the instagram account some love go give it a follow and whatnot but i'm going to share the account above or below this video so check it out for yourself and give it a follow but yes so the pictures were originally shared by skyla angel's daughter and then reposted by his instagram account here is the first one right there and in the comment section everyone was kind of wondering is that in a prison? Like it really appears that he's wearing like a prison jail uniform and it's one of those like prison kind of outfits. For all the Loved or Lock Up fans, you can probably agree. To me at least, it appears that they're like in jail and they're visiting him. Now we could be completely wrong. We cannot say for sure, but in the comments below, it does. Everyone was kind of saying that same thing. It really, it appears in that picture right there that he is likely in jail. So there is the first one. There is the second one. They're just, you know, having fun, joking around. Okay, we go to the next one and you can see it is Angela. This man, Skyla, and now she's, you know, much older, and also this woman. So I don't know if he married someone else or if he met someone else. Not really sure who that other woman is. This next picture is kind of more of a flashback, though, because you can see Skyla is super young, and even Angela, she looks completely different with the brown hair and everything. She looks very different. And last but not least right there is kind of oddly enough, so it is uh, the man, maybe the man's mother, Angela, then Skyla, but the odd thing is Skyla looks close in age in those two pictures, but in the last one, Angela looks completely kind of somewhat sort of different. So I don't even know the time frame. I have no idea idea, but this man apparently is one of Angela's exes. People are saying that it is actually Skyla's stepdad, which then makes everyone wonder, well, is it one of Angela's, you know, was she married to him? Because she said on 90 Fiance, and you can comment below if I was wrong, but this is what everyone's saying, is she did say on 90 Fiance in her first season, she was married once before to the man that was the father of, you know, her children, which is clearly not this guy. So kind of odd, kind of interesting. Angela's been on 90 Day Fiance for years and years and years. And when you go through everyone like Darcy, and everyone else that's big and popular on 90 Day Fiance. Typically, we can always find the, there are other significant others from the past, but Angela has been one of those people who we have never been able to see any of her exes. Well, now we can finally see something thanks to Skyla. And if you're wondering why didn't it work out, why didn't they stay together, well, I can probably list off a handful of reasons. If he left her, I can probably list off a couple of reasons why he left. But um, honestly, I have no idea. The only thing we know is just those pictures. It appears to be her uh, stepdad and the prison thing, which the prison thing is kind of interesting, kind of odd, kind of it, I don't even know. Angela has such a weird history and past, and it's just kind of like, there's more to her story, I think, for sure. If he, was he in jail? Was he in prison? Why was he there? What was going on? Were they ever actually married? Were they just dating? And the big question is, if she is going to post pictures, at least in my opinion, I could be wrong, but if Skyla is going to post pictures with this man who is not even with Angela anymore, he must have been a pretty important figure in her life. And that's why I'm kind of like, maybe he was like this father figure. Maybe Angela wasn't ever even with Skyla's real true biological dad. We could be wrong, but I wouldn't be very shocked if this man kind of raised Skyla. And we saw he was there for, because we saw one of the pictures, she was very young. We saw another picture, she was much older. So he was definitely around for quite some time, which kind of makes me believe that Angela married this guy and maybe she just kind of dated or maybe she just kind of saw her daughter's dad and it wasn't anything serious and then she ended up marrying this guy. I could be wrong but that's just how the pictures kind of tend to lean that way and if, she, if Skyla years later while Angela's you know met a new man with Michael married a new man in Nigeria but if years later she's still posting pictures with this guy he must have been pretty important in her life. So comment below you guys think kind of interesting stuff though. All right guys let's keep this going real quick there's this thing with Paul Curry I just very quickly wanted to address here is the deal. I don't even know. A couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, it was some time ago, it wasn't very long ago. Paul posted all these weird cryptic, it was probably about a month ago, all these weird cryptic posts with Corinne and how she's leaving him and how she's not going to be a cosmetologist and how she's going back to Brazil and how he's trying to do everything. Oh, okay, it's a typical sob story. I don't know if it was for clout or attention or if he was just really seriously going through something. 
To me, if he's going through something, why share it on social media? But either way, he did. From the gist of it, it sounded like they were maybe living with his mom in Kentucky and the mom was helping raise the kids. She has an OnlyFans account and last I heard she was making pretty good money. So I think that's what they're doing full time now. But either way, um, they got into a fight of some sort. It sounded like she was going to leave him and he was saying he's doing this and that and trying everything he can possibly do to make it work. And she still is not happy. It's a he said, she said kind of thing. Anyway, it sounded like they were done, which of course we all, if you don't know Paul and Corinne, they're done about once a week and they get back together and back and forth. Well, a couple days ago, he posted this, what appeared to be a pregnancy test, a positive pregnancy test. And so everyone was freaking out. Everyone was going crazy that Paul and Corinne are going to have another baby. But it sounds like from what I've heard online and from social media, it was like an ovulation test. So, um, yeah, Corinne apparently probably not pregnant, which if she was pregnant, oh my God. That'd be a disaster. I'm sorry, that's probably rude. I don't mean to be like that, but honestly, you guys, that would just be a complete disaster. Their kids look great, I wish them well. But yeah, I mean, great for the kids, but it's like they're, they're two people that should not be together. And the last thing they need right now is probably another baby. So anyway, Paul and Corinne, it uh, sounds like that was kind of more just, I don't even know, clickbait, tease, kind of conspiracy stuff. I don't think they're having another baby, but comment below if you guys heard anything else. And before I sign off for the day, one last night, a fiance update, and I promise you guys, this is not an ad. I'm not getting paid to say this, but there's one last thing I wanna say with night, a fiance, and we just got word yesterday that 90 Day Bears all on Discovery Plus, thank God, is coming back. It is coming back, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, the 12th, I think, of September, and you don't even know, I'm so excited. I, I love this show, I adore this show. This show is just like the greatest thing with Discovery Plus, and that's why I had to say, not an ad, I'm not getting paid, I should be getting paid, but no, I'm not. And as far as I'm concerned, everyone at Night If You're Saying TLC and everyone else in Discovery probably can't stand me because I talk about spoilers and whatnot. But anyway, yes, I'm just so excited. If you don't already know, and I was just gonna tell you guys, if you are not on Discovery Plus and you live in America, I'm not sure about Canada, but if you live in America, you can get Discovery Plus. It is like $5 a month. I think I pay seven, but I don't have a commercial. But you can get it for like four or five bucks a month. And okay, 90 Day Bears All makes it worth the price. It is such an interesting, if you are a 90 Day Fiance fan, such a good show. There's a handful of Discovery Plus originals. 90 Day Fiance Single Life was one of them, but then they ended up putting that on TLC. So not really an original anymore, but it was on Discovery Plus, you know, exclusively. Okay, well, 90 Day Bears All is one of those shows. It's still on just Discovery Plus. It'll never go on TLC because they kind of just say crazy stuff and it's definitely not very, you know, family oriented. But yes, it is coming back in one week and I am so excited. We got to see a little teaser on the 90 Day Fiance Instagram app. Basically, it's the same old kind of people. Elizabeth and Andre, Stacy and Florian. We got just the same old kind of thing we always see. Like, uh, of course, Angela and Michael. Michael was remote. Angela was there. She was definitely being all loud and crazy. So everything we've been wondering about 90 Day Fiance, all the exclusive things, what really is truly going down in more present day. They film it kind of a while ago, but not like months and months, much just a couple weeks ago. So it's all pretty present stuff. It's interesting, it's fun, and you guys, I'm so excited. I mean, that's the only reason. If they were going to announce they're done doing 90 Day Bears All, I would consider, maybe not, but I would really consider canceling Discovery Plus because it's actually inter you know, pretty interesting stuff. The everything else with 90 Day, you know, I, the single life I actually kind of like watching, but the other 90 Day kind of spinoffs and you know, all that crap, I don't really care about. But 90 Day Bears All, it's very interesting. It's coming back and if you are not on Discovery Plus and you live in America, should definitely check it out. Well, y'all, 90 Day Fiance, a couple pretty fun updates. We are going to be back this upcoming Sunday with 90 Day Fiance the other way. We have a new episode and a non 90 Day Fiance update, but still a lot of people that watch 90 Day Fiance watch this show too. And that is tonight, this Friday, we have a new episode of Life After Lockup. By far, without a doubt, my favorite show ever. It's the greatest show of all time. And so if you have Wii TV, which is literally probably the most random, ridiculously bizarre channel in the entire world, but if you have that channel, definitely make sure to check it out because it is such a good show. My only complaint, it's, it is, but it isn't a complaint. They're big on the whole mystery thing and they never, ever, ever, ever get to the point, which after some time, kind of gets old. But it's an hour long episode, which in some cases is good. In some cases, it's kind of like, 
you want to see what happens next, but also it's one of those shows where it's like they never really get to the point. So you kind of just watch it for fun and for laughs. And for some reason, I find it very interesting because these people just seem to really be out of their mind and crazy, and it's just very fun to watch. Well, guys, 90 Day Fiance, those are the updates and love after lockup. If you have not already watched it and you have Wii TV, but also to be honest, you can just watch it on YouTube. If you if you search the show on Friday while it's on, it airs at like eight o'clock central, I think. I think it's nine Eastern, eight central. If you just go on YouTube, search Love After Lockup, and then press live to watch a live stream, people are live streaming it like crazy. You can watch it there. Might be a little bit glitchy and kind of weird, but if you have the Wii TV channel too, you can check it out there. It's on YouTube TV, but it is not on Hulu. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Tap that like button, hit the comments below, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.